Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers. Today, we are diving back into the workshop to see what kind of ingenuity and insanity the Trailmakers community has to offer to us today. And first up, we have something unlike anything I've seen before called the Tread Wheel Crane by Muramatsu Kiko. He says this machine was used to transport heavy weight in the medieval times. So this seems like a really unique and unusual build, and I'm excited to see how it performs. Oh, boy. Oh, the... <laughs> The camera does not like this build. I'm not mo like, I I'm not moving the camera. The camera is like, why is it doing? It's trying to follow my seat is the thing. But we're attached to this whole thing of like weird, like a chain of trailer hinges. And based off of our snake videos that we made in the past, we know that the camera does not agree with a bunch of trailer hinges hooked up to each other. So, oh, oh, okay, hold on. No, stop camera. Stop. <laughs> I want to see what's happening. Stop! Let me watch! Okay, I'm just gonna zoom way out. Okay, okay, we can reel it in. I don't know if you can see it happening. Wait, here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. If you look close- If you look- If you- If you look- If, um... If you- Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. We gotta use free cam for this. Yes, this should work. Ah, there we go. Okay, problem. Crisis averted. Okay, so A and D moves it left and right, and... Oh, that's interesting. What is that supposed to be doing? I don't know what that's supposed to be doing. And then number one... Oh yeah, look at that. So this is gonna start reeling it in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this, this does not seem safe. This seems very unsafe. Oh, it's working though. I'm surprised at how, oh, 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 it fell. It fell off. Oh no. Sometimes reality doesn't always translate into video games quite as well as you would hope it worked. Rolling a rope or chain up a winch is one of those things in these types of games that is particularly difficult to emulate. It's kind of working now. It's kind of working now. It's actually kind of working. Oh, look at that. It worked perfectly, just as intended. I think this creation might be ahead of its time in this game right now. Perhaps in the future, more realistic rope type things might be ahead of us? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe? Maybe? Trailmakers devs? Maybe? I'm sure that would be super easy putting that into the game with no issues whatsoever. So yeah, uh, looking forward to that. Okay, up next we have Rally Car by Ozzy. It's a modern rally car design. So just by looking at it, it's just a super well-designed, well-constructed car that I'm really looking forward to seeing how it drives. All right, look at this thing. It always amazes me how much detail some of you guys can get out of just the basic parts that we have. Whenever I try to build a car-looking thing, it's always more blocky than I want it to be. Look at that, even the, the door handle is there with the chrome piece there, that's awesome. The headlights are there. We got air intake and stuff. Some of this stuff is just amazing. The spoiler looks awesome. License plate on the back. All right, well, let's see how this thing drives. It's just standard vehicle controls. Looks good so far. I'm curious if there's any type of fancy suspension thing or if there's just the typical suspension in there. It drives really, really well too. No issues spinning out or anything like that. But how's it gonna handle? How's it gonna handle going airborne? Oh, that looks awesome. Oop. Oop. Okay, so it was still okay. It was a little bit of a rough landing on the back wheel there, but we kind of survived. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I think this has some steering help on it. Because if we're going not too fast, we can steer super, super sharp. But then once we end up picking up speed, when we try to steer that sharp, it doesn't go nearly as sharp. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That actually feels pretty realistic, to be honest. Like, I've seen the videos of those rally cars taking those turns and then, like, going up on two wheels. That's what it felt like there. All right, but let's see how this thing is going to handle going a little bit airborne here. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that actually, it survived. It survived. All right, well, how about going into here, then? Ooh, ow. Uh-oh. I'm pressed once again. Can we get out of this, though? Actually, can we? Oh, no, that sign's going to get in the way. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, yep. I didn't think that one was going to feel too good. And sometimes rally cars flip over. It's just, uh, it's just have, have the hazard of the profession. All right, but can I get out of the... Oh, no way. 
That was actually kind of epic. Tony Hawk's Pro Rally Car. Oh, I know how to get out. I know how to get out of the bowl. We gotta do a little bit of this, and then... I mean, we gotta do a little bit of this, and then... Eh? There we go. Nailed it. And then, of course, we have to do a full-speed head-on collision, because uh, that's and testing out any car, that's really the best thing to do. <laughs> Perfectly safe. Okay, up next we have a car called Cautious Steven by Chicken. This is apparently inspired by the socially anxious car that I made a few episodes ago, where anytime it got too close to anything or anything got too close to it, it would just explode out of just sheer anxiety buildup. Apparently you can try to crash and destroy it, and uh, it's gonna try to escape, I guess. So I'm really not sure what that means. Like, is it gonna automatically take control from me if I try to crash it into things? Whoa, this thing turns sharp. Okay, I'm just gonna try to go and get near this wall here. It's a very, very slow car. That is amazing. All right, come on, just, just crash into the wall. Just go crash into the wall, please. All right, what if I back up? I'm gonna back up into the wall. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Nope, nope, it's not letting me. All right, so just to give you an idea of what's actually going on here, all I'm gonna do right now is press the W key. Any other controls other than the forward that you see are automatically being triggered by the vehicle. All right, here we go. W, that's it. Just W. I'm gonna hold it down the whole time. So all of those little turns and everything that you're seeing, I'm not doing any of that. It's just doing it automatically. It won't let me crash into this wall. All right, you know what we gotta do then? We gotta start on top of a hill. We gotta gain some momentum, perhaps, and then see how things go. Okay, here we go. We're approaching 100 kilometers an hour. I think I might get you beat here now. I might have you beat here. We're gonna try to uh, crash into the base of this cannon thing. Oh, don't, no, no! It slowed me down automatically. Dang it. We're not gonna make it now, I don't think. Go on, I'm just pressing W. And nope, we didn't make it. What if I try to get just the, whoa, whoa. It's turning me away from the wall automatically. Aha, <laughs> I confused you. <laughs> With the wall on either side, I think it just turned away from one and into another. I'm not doing any of this now. The car's just behaving on its own. This is all the car. It's just doing its own thing. It doesn't know what to do. It's stuck. It must be very, very scared right now. Oh, you know what will be funny? I'm gonna try to feed the car into the grinder and see if it'll successfully stop itself from getting destroyed. I mean, if anything is gonna make Cautious Steven scared, it's gonna be the- no, no, I'm not- no. I'm not even there yet. Let me- let me scare you. <laughs> he heard me telling you guys about it. <laughs> okay, all right, just let me- all right, no, stop, stop, stop. He's protesting like crazy. I'm not honking the horn, that's automatic. Oh, he's not even gonna let me get up the ramp now that I look at it. All right, come on, come on, please. No, please. He's not, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to turn him into, into the grinder. Just, I know you don't wanna go. Just please, Steven, Steven, be quiet. Steven, can you just listen? Steve, no. Okay, you know what? I didn't want to have to- I didn't want to have to do it this way, Steven. I didn't want to have to do it, but I'm gonna have to put you right here on your own. Oh, no, 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 no! Look at him back it up! <laughs> He's just out of here! He wants nothing to do with the grinder! No, 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 yes, 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 there you go, there you go! Now you know what to do! Alright, no, come on, come on, just let me- Let me dry- <laughs> <laughs> the horn. It's so sad. Okay, all right. We'll back up then. We'll back. No, stop it. Stop. Steven. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, Steven. Don't you hit it when your car just won't listen to you? What? I'm not pressing anything right now. This is all the car. The car's just on its own, doing its own thing. You seem very indecisive. Are you teasing me now? Like, oh, maybe I'm gonna go in. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm gonna go in. Maybe I'm not. 
Oh, where are you going now? Yeah, I bet you regret that, don't you? I bet you regret that, don't you, Steven? I'm impressed. Steven uh, self righted himself. Okay, all right. I, I I think I think we've given Steven enough scaring for today. We're gonna give him a little bit of a break. Okay, up next, I'm really curious about this one. This is a space shuttle model by Aw Joker. There's a bunch of controls here that I'm always terrible at memorizing. I find it much easier to just press buttons and see what happens. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we got our arrows. We got W, A, S, D, Q, E, space. Okay, and uh, let's press them all. All right, uh, W. Oh boy. Is it bad that I keep seeing thrusters fall out of us every single time I spawn in? Oh, okay, the arrows can actually control the space shuttle wheels. All right, but the space shuttle, I guess that's useful when we come in for a landing. All right, numbers one and two. Oh, that's cool. Rather than using a uh, detachable block, it actually uses the the uh, the small gun there to shoot some blocks, and you can see it actually just completely destroys the thing. All right then. Well, I'm assuming that space is gonna take us up in the air, so let's see how it goes. Three, two, one, blast off! Oh oh oh! No, I got it. I got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm good. This is good. I'm perfectly capable of flying this thing. I am completely qualified. To fly a space rocket. Okay, ready and detach. Okay, that was pretty good. That worked pretty well. All right, and detach. Oh, this thing has a lot of control. Yeah, you can see we've lost some thrusters, so we don't have even thrust. Now, <laughs> am I gonna be able to descend and land the space shuttle successfully? I do not know. This thing actually doesn't feel too bad to control, to be honest, so this might work. This might actually work. Okay. Come on, the future of humanity depends on it. Elon Musk is watching. We know he's watching. All right. All right, and... No, 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 no! Ooh, ooh, I had to apply the brakes there a little bit. So there we go, successful space shuttle launch, rocket detachment, and landing. All right, I'll await my letter in the mail from Mr. Musk if he needs anybody to go to Mars. Um, I will swiftly reject that invitation because I am perfectly happy making space shuttle videos in my office at home. I think I just ruined my chances of getting that letter. I just wanted the letter, okay? I didn't want to actually go, I just wanted the letter. <laughs> Okay, and then up last here, we have Revolver Handgun by Captain Kale. Apparently, this is a fully functional handgun. So check this thing out. This thing looks amazing. We got like the ammo next to it there. That looks pretty cool. Oh, I see. He uses the cannons. Oh, this actually looks pretty awesome. All right, number one. Oh, then we're supposed to do four... I could have sworn the instructions said number one followed by four, three, two. That did not seem to work as intended. Number one, what if I do two, three, four? Two. Okay. No, no problem. No problem. We got other buttons here. What does A and D do? Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, that seems, that seems precarious trying to line that up. We can aim the whole thing up and down. Is that supposed to be happening? Left control. Oh, we can pull. We can pull the hammer back. Number one. <laughs> okay. Oh no, no, I get it now. Four, three, and two. So that means number one will fire the first one, and then when we press D to go to the next one, that one. Oh, it's not lined up. It's probably gonna be number four. Nope. It's like playing Russian roulette with myself, but I lose every time. <laughs> All right, number one. Then we go and turn it. There we go, number two. There we go. And then number three. And then, uh-oh. Oh, that actually worked, number four. And then we're back to number one. Two, three. Oh, I was trying to just keep it going and do it. I actually was surprised I got the second bullet there. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do something fancy here. So I'm gonna color the first cannon red. So that way I will know when shot number one goes by. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm just gonna try to keep it going like this. And I'm gonna try to time it, like one, two, three, four. Oh, that's gonna be so difficult. 
I'm gonna try to go through all four of them in a row without exploding myself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. I think this is a really hard game. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three. Okay, I changed my mind. We're not playing this game anymore. It's too hard. Okay, so it appears that lift bracket actually does pull the trigger. I think what was happening before was an issue. This is, this, is, this is why guns are dangerous, people. <laughs> Don't try this at home. So did you have a favorite creation out of all these creations? Let me know down in the comments below and let me know if you have any ideas for stuff you'd like to see in future Trail Makers episodes. If you enjoyed this best build episode, then go ahead and check out the whole playlist of all the Trail Makers best builds that I've done previously on the channel. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.